Uh, hiding the lens. Get nice, Nate or Evan. Get nice and close to your mic. I got that drink more with dirty. Bro. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Bro, my, <laughs> I hope my mic actually picks me up, and not just you guys. I think yeah, okay, it's doing fine. Yeah, right it's now. you got it. It's good. Batteries okay. So we're here. So where'd you get this animal? Where'd you get this animal? I mean. So oh, hey, get, bitch, get over here. I hope this is okay. Whoa. This fine specimen right here. This is our dinner. <laughs> so yeah. So basically, um, I was at my. Uh, I came home for from Thanksgiving break, and my uh, one of my apartment neighbors, like who I've like, he he's really chill. He's like in his like forties, I think. Um, he just comes up to me. He's like, hey man, like. I don't know if you know anyone up in San Jose, but like I got these two dogs and like I can't take care of them, bro. And so basically she was just alone in their little like like five by eight foot backyard. Mm. And it was like cold, Aww. storming winter weather. And all she had was a little doggy house to like sit and tremble in alone, you know. And then I went out there and I was like, hi, I like you. Dude, this leg looks like a horse's her. leg, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. skin is all tied on oh, the tendons. She runs. Yeah. Like, if I, if I get her, like, all, like, like hyped up, and I'm like, or, like, I put her leash on, I'm like, all right, let's go for a walk. And I start running down the hallway. She, like, gallops. Like, it sounds like a little mini horse. It's like. It's so bro. Funny. Damn. Bro, let's She's like. Up. Bro, every mic picked that up. All right, so we're kind of in a weird <laughs> mic situation right now. Bro, you should definitely. The mic. Dude, do you want me to get you a book or something to put that on? Oh, no, I got you. No, we're good. Yeah, get up nice and <laughs> What's close. Up? Really? Yeah. This close? Dude, yeah. Because yeah. I feel like I'm talking loud. Dude, no, don't worry. You're fine. Um, Yeah, it's the new year, 2020. Yes. We're here sitting at this table. Haven't done a podcast in a little while. First one. Actually, since the first one. But now we're here with, with Johnny. He, um, he moved to uh, L.A. and he, now he lives in L.A. Kind of sucks. Sucks. LA's not LA's not gonna be good until like twenty thirty. Like <laughs> needs a lot of help, dude. Are you it's gonna bad. help? Him? I yeah. I'm gonna go Kanye mode. Man. Ain't gonna happen. What is hey that man, I'm <laughs> build, build housing for the man. I'm gonna build a fucking. I'm gonna build a. I'm gonna build an igloo for a homeless. Oh, the homeless is what makes it bad. No, I don't know. There's just a lot of. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of people. There's, there's, there's too many. Pe it feels like how? like peak overpopulation is like really nearing. Like if you go on the roads at mm. any busy time of the day, it feels awful. Like physically, it's a horrible feeling mm. seeing so many people just like blatantly disregard like your <laughs> your car and like your, want your to be around you. Yeah, like. And everyone drives so fast there. Oh, it's 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 real. Like everyone goes a minimum of like fifteen over the limit, like on I all mean, like residential streets because the streets are so wide. Like yeah, that's how that's how it is. I mean that's how it is here. Like I was like every time I'm on on the freeway, mm -hmm. you're just driving, and then like in the slow lane, people are going motherfuckers are going eighty on the in the slow lane. <laughs> yeah, like, dude. bro, what? It's yeah. It sucks when like there's just so much people around you. Yeah. When you just like you feel like you're not even a part of a community. It's yeah. just like it's awful. You're just like another like you're just a fucking a, another you're unit another using AI. resources. Yeah, you're another <laughs> you're AI. You're just you're another, a unit, uh, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How what is the population in LA? It's at least it's like huge. It's like it's I don't know. A couple million, two million. No, definitely Hala way million, more than a million. Yeah. Like probably million? like 10 million. <laughs> yeah, probably hey, like 10 million. Probably like really? Yeah. 30 Damn. people. <laughs> so, Johnny, what's it like living by yourself now? I mean, so... Oh, yeah. Honestly, at first, it was sick because we moved down with four people. And I'm going to explain why I'm wearing this hat. Um, uh, I got this, this fucking... Oh, it says math. I bought this Andrew Yang merch hat. You know, you know, what, that, you know what it stands for, right? No. Make America Think Again. Make, it, oh. make America Think Harder. Damn, Fuck harder. shit! Yeah. I've, I've heard God. someone say that. Damn I've heard someone say that on like. Oh no! Yeah, I knew that too. Yeah. I knew that too. If I was just looking at the hat while I said it, I was like, "Oh <laughs> shit! Hey, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> oh shit! Hug in, bro." <laughs> okay. No. Um, so I, we moved down with four people, hmm. um, and three of us were all gonna go to this same uh, community college. Um, 
Two of them couldn't get like a meeting with a counselor to schedule mm-hmm. their classes, so they just ended up never signing up for classes. Nice. They just like got jobs and then were like or, like got hired and then just you know we're posted. But both of them had to move down af- move or I mean move back up here after like a month or two because uh-huh. they just ran out of money. Rent literally sucked them dry. Damn. They're like, well, like, oh, we're not doing school, so uh, see you, man. Had a yeah. great time. Fuck. It's like, nice. it's not, there's no, like, if, unless, pretty much, unless you're like, like, like in this money. area, at least, unless you're white or just have really well-off parents, you just like, you're fucked. Like you can't like move somewhere and just expect to be okay just from. Well, getting like, so like people aren't gonna like job. hire you if you're not white. No, I, I don't mean that. I'm saying like just like it's hard to work in. Oh, like there's the people this, that there's have... a stat that I keep hearing in uh, Yang speeches that the the average like median net worth of a of a black household is ten percent that of a white household, mm. and for Latinos it's like twelve percent. Mm. Like just that's just the average in mm. the country. So it's. Yeah, there's way I don't know. It's it's so bad. Know. There's not enough freedom, economic like freedom of movement. You're just kind of stuck where you are. No, dude. Like, so your buddy's just you go, left. Yeah, especially, they just left. Yeah, especially Damn. if you're here, dude. Yeah, if you're here, it's like you're just you're, you're your locked in. <laughs> you're so locked in. How much is the rent? Like, what, what would you say for people? So f- for us, so for the whole apartment per month, it was. Like nineteen hundred because we got like a deal, yeah. so it was like that's not too bad. Four ninety something for an apartment for, or for a house. For an apartment. Oh, okay. But it was I mean yeah. it was oh. two bedroom oh. for four people. I mean, it was, it's L A. You know what you expect, yeah. but it was like it was pretty decent. Like it, the rent wasn't even that bad, but it just after two months plus buying groceries plus like yeah, you know everything, and like a hundred dollar bong. <laughs> my, my friend bought like a. Like, right when we got there, oh, he's, he's like, like hey, man, like, let's get our setup, bro. And then Trap house, dude. he moved away and he's like, well, I can't take this home, so I guess you can keep it. <laughs> Put it up on the mantle. I paid no money. I could resell that and get, if I'm like, Put a down broke. payment. <laughs> <laughs> what part of, like, LA is, is it like? It's Fullerton. Fullerton? Yeah, like one block away from uh, CSU Fullerton. Oh. It's kind of, uh, it's honestly not, like, it's a nice campus and all, aside from, like, some guy got stabbed in the first, like, month. <laughs> not surprised. Just, like, on campus. Not you surprised. remember, you remember Tommy, right? Yeah. He's in Inglewood right now. Bruh. <laughs> yeah. What the? Dude, <laughs> he's just chilling in Inglewood. Like, on, like, I want to see, like, the snap maps. It's just, like, like Inglewood. Inglewood. <laughs> and it's, like, one other, one other place, and it's just, like, Compton, and it's just, like, Tommy chilling. <laughs> he would chill there, too. Yeah, dude, it's, like, <laughs> he's, like, dude, it's hella nice. <laughs> yeah, no, his boy, he's, there. like, he's, like, yeah, my boy's got a house down there. Yeah. Like, yeah, he rents it out. It's, like, he makes a little club in the basement. Yeah, he's chilling. He's, like, 19. <laughs> He's like, we went to Pioneer. I'm like, damn, I, I never met this guy. He's like, yeah. Yeah. It takes him like five minutes to open the door because he's got like three doors because like half of them are metal or some shit. Oh, <laughs> it's just like, like three dead bolts in the Yeah, I know. Yeah, I imagine Inglewood just like GTA San Andreas. Just like <laughs> walking around and just like. Nice. Hey, chill, man. <laughs> NPCs everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. There's so many NPCs in LA. I was like at Target once. I was literally trying to put back this like coffee that I didn't want. And there's this like this dad like who was like pretty young honestly and he just had his kid in the shopping cart. And he's going so slow. He's blocking the whole aisle. I'm like, uh, excuse me man. And I like go to like open the door that's like right in front of where he is. Mm-hmm. And he ignores me and keeps walking forward. So I like open the door, but then it like <laughs> closes back on me. I drop all my shit. And he's like, that wasn't so smart. I was like, what? who are you? <laughs> what do you mean? That wasn't You're so, so smart. mean, dude. You have a kid. Why are you gonna just like. Dude, you reproduced. Like, bro. you didn't. <laughs> Like his DJ nah. process on his there. He's just like, mm-hmm. like gotta get my uh, eggs, bruh. Dude. Hey, get out of my way, kid. Are you um it's literally a loser. literally a GTA character? <laughs> hey, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? What the? Are you on ah! um, are you on a semester or a quarter system? 
semester. Oh. How, wait, was this I haven't signed semester? up for classes yet. <laughs> for this semester. Oh, for this semester. How was last semester, though? Um, I signed up for classes too late. <laughs> I should have learned from that. But, so you didn't? But, well, I tried before. to get into these two classes that were, like, the next level of what I did um, the year before at West Valley. And they just didn't accept my prerequisites. Like, mm. I did the whole application form, but it was, like, too late in the... It was, like, the week before classes started. So, do you so they just didn't put me in the classes. And so I ended up getting dropped. And I only had one. And I got bored of that one class. So I stopped <laughs> going halfway through the semester. I was... I just... Yeah. It's been, a bad, so it's been an off semester for me. Yeah, so you've been a total piece of shit this yeah. whole semester. Yeah. <laughs> so I started time. exercising at least, but I stopped yeah. for like That's uh, good. To the last two months. Well, how long did you break. go for? How long did you go for, huh? Yeah. <laughs> how long did you go for? Sorry. I mean, like, I was doing it pretty regularly because the dudes we moved in with was like... I'm sorry, the dog keeps looking at me. I start dying. It's so cute. <laughs> it's like, every time I look at her, just like I just smile. It's so cute. <laughs> So, no, you were saying some? Oh, yeah. But, like, we have, like, a pool at our apartment complex. There's, like, multiple pools. And there's, like, hot tubs and shit. And then mm. there's a gym complex. So, like, we started, like, in the summer. We would go to the pool all the time because it was fucking hot. And then we didn't have anything else to do. So, we would just, like, do the gym. Like, they would go every day or, like, every other day. So, you so went for, like, two months. months? Yeah. Well, no. I was, like, two or three months, I'd say. Mm. And then I just, like, if it was, like, in November, I just, like, it's like, all right, I'm chilling. <laughs> Lifting some heavy ass weight. Well, I kind of, yeah, I kind of feel like, machine. I kind of feel like I see it in your face. Yeah, it's. I mean, like, mm-hmm. I've been like thinning out slightly, and like also in like my, mm-hmm. I had like some arm muscle going in that I. Stopped. Oh yeah, yeah, dude, you showed us last time. Yeah. I remember. I was, like, oh yeah. So what have you been doing, bro? I'm trying to make music right now. I have a project I'm working on that's. It, it has to come out this year. Oh, it has to. Yeah. Oh, twenty. You got, you got, you got a whole other. You got, you got your voice in it. Yeah, I, I got, um, nice. I actually haven't even really recorded anything of myself, but I have, like, I, I plan to, obviously. I'm just doing, like, I'm just making instrumentals and writing shit at this point. It's not far enough along yet, but mm. the concept is, like, already full. <laughs> I knew a guy that's just like, yeah, I'm making beats right now, and then I'll get to it eventually. And he ended up making like 3,000 beats <laughs> and never released a damn thing. So, like, <laughs> you got to let the dream die if you're going to make any work happen, you know? Because it's like, oh, I got this song in my head, and it's perfect. And it's like, oh, if I make it, it's not going to be perfect, so I'm going to keep it in my head. <laughs> it's like, so it's just like, uh, you have to let it die. It's like, I mean, yeah, like, or just let make it, die, it and let, let it, it be imperfect. Like. Yeah. And like that's because right now it's like a fucking dump load of like two years worth of random instrumentals that I'm just going to arrange and mm-hmm. like cuz I'm trying to make an album that sounds like a like a video game soundtrack. I want to mm-hmm. be able to just play it like if I'm just sitting and chilling, like I want there to be songs that are good for like, you know, different atmospheres like it's portraying different, you no. Know, so stuff. it's doing that and it includes a a, a vocal well, yeah, I, I'm gonna. Not all of them are gonna be like full songs, okay. but there are gonna be ones that have. Like some will be that. just background, like vocal shit, and then some will have actual like lyrics and. Oh, so in some of them, your your voice is just like another instrument. Yeah, exactly. I I prefer to like. Offset. I would prefer to use the voice more as like a, just a, one, another yeah. instrument. In the I don't want to be like a a singer. Like I'm. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to mm-hmm. be post below, dude. Yeah. <laughs> are you uh, are you finding like? Or are you actually playing the instruments? Like, I, well, yeah, you? no, I have, um, I like, r- like I make, cause I have logic. So I, um, there's like a lot of loops and stuff, but like mostly I, there's like one song that's like really fleshed out mm. that I made with like a group of friends back in the summer. And then I just kept working on it and it just like, it's, it's kind of dope. And that one I actually sampled the black ops one zombies menu oh theme. my god like piano. <laughs> it's like and it's like it's like it's Wait, like all metal go? and shit it's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like kind the of piano it's like theme. slightly different sort of than like the original one i always remember you always liked the video game soundtracks so that but that's that's what this album is or whatever. but it's gonna be like it oh song? yeah, yeah. Oh, okay yeah. got it yeah the mm-hmm. piano shit. Yeah. but the theme of the album is it's about like this Love. past summer oh. yeah it's about my life this past summer and how um specifically um i don't know if addiction is the right word but like like weed dependence and overuse can affect your like hedonism your, 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 
Don't just say words, bro. Let him talk. <laughs> Sorry. Like, it, it just, like, affected my, like, the way I acted and thought a lot and shit. And, like, the things that the people I hung out with, mm. like, the whole s- summer and shit. And there's, like, a, there's also, like, a, like, you know, there's, like, a, um, there's, like, there's, like, there's a subplot going on. There's, there's like, yeah, the whole point is okay. I want to have a series of products like you know tyler has like storyline shit that carries over through multiple albums like yeah doing that kind of thing right. you can like make more projects in the future and like everything becomes like like the past bodies of work become more enriched because of it mm. and like i i'm like obsessed with like star wars and shit and like i kind of hated the new one so it's really motivating me like i want to mm. create this like series of like things didn't you hate the new one less than the previous two new ones? No. I Wait, liked, really? I liked Force Awakens. I thought it was like... Force more Awakens than this one? Uh, more... Low key. Okay, more. wait. So have you all seen it? I like Force Awakens. Have you seen it? The newest yeah. newest one? I have the Force Awakens. No, no, the newest newest one. No, no I've not. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Fuck. Too into it, but Damn. I loved The Last Jedi. You guys see that one? Episode oh, 8? Yeah, we saw it. Or, really? Uh, That's the lowest rated one. I know, but I don't all right. give a shit, dude. I watched it the first time and I was like, that was good. There were parts of it that stood out as like really We've awesome. all seen The Last Jedi, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, saw, we saw it together. together. Yeah. When Amir was like, <laughs> Amir was like, Luke. <laughs> what did he say? I was, I, didn't, I wasn't there. Luke dies. Luke dies. <laughs> oh shit! No, because he already knew. He probably already yeah, knew. Because yeah, yeah. he just looks up there. <laughs> I expected. Up. I expected that go again. But like, I, the first time I saw it, I was like, oh man, that was like, that was good. But like, I need to go see it again because like, there's parts that I need to like, process. And then, the first time I watched it on like my phone or some shit like not in the theaters is when it like fully clicked i was like this is sick like everything on the island everything with luke i loved luke's character mm. i loved like i thought it was sick dude it was so interesting because he's, right. he's just like he's it's like wow this guy hates himself he hates his life like everything he had was like rude I know, like, most he's, blaming himself. he's blaming himself yeah it's like this is crazy like and then by the end, he, he does, like, full God mode. It's so that full, part when he was drinking God. the milk was kind of weird, though. It was. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, fuck, dude. I would have that, but, like, it's a funny <laughs> shot, bro. I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, no, I honestly think I honestly think it goes, this last one that came out, then Force Awakens, and then Last Jedi is the worst. I think that's, that's, that's my two. What, list. like, specific points, like, like, what were your biggest problems with with Last Jedi, because like uh, I think what they did with Leia, I remember being the biggest. Oh, issue. that was it. That was ridiculous. Was like, that was. Ridiculous. I honestly think <laughs> that, I was honestly, crazy, that, was that was kind of crazy, bro. That was like, oh, what? Like, dude, whenever Johnny's around, I just go instantly into stoner laugh, <laughs> no matter what. I just look at his face and I'm just like, oh shit! I just get a relapse. It was like stoner. right before I came here, I was like, I need to go, uh, no. Jimmy, Jimmy Dormo. Jesus was, Christ! I, like, I gotta, you know. Be prepared. Ruined. Not nice. nice. You wasted like what? How much? No, I just I didn't I didn't that's, spend that's any time on that. I was like, was oh, you're, you're like you're eating, getting your things ready. And no, just... I have a I have like a yeah. Oh, have okay, this, got this, it. Uh, fucking um, oh, a portable charger. What portable what? charger. I have this portable USB charger for my cell phone <laughs> mm. right here. Mm. This I, this isn't even mine. For, a fa- this is a family. Just channel. so the law knows. <laughs> This I found this. This is a stolen. Oh I mean, a, my God. Uh, <laughs> um, a mask. 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 found item. There's no cuts in the podcast, so, yeah. and it's it's live. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 you didn't know. I've been, you don't know, but I've been up towards some work. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So we got the CIA uh, no, okay. watching live right now. But let's go back to your epilogue of of albums. So like, oh yes. You mean, but like, so you want to start off. So I actually have a, I, I, it all started the first time that I uh, explored psilocybin. Mm. I listened to these two albums. I was at Meadows, just like alone. Um, I just ate like a sandwich with some extra ingredients. Mm, dry. Yeah. With peanut butter also. It made it not so bad. And then I drank it Arizona. But it just like gave me this conceptual like like vision after that over like the course of a few weeks i would just you know sit in my backyard and listen to music constantly like oh i'm gonna i want to use this thing for that like i would like 
just like think of like what keys mm. I want what songs to mm. be in and shit. So I have currently right now, the one I'm trying to make first is going to be the third part of the actual story chronologically because it's like, it, t- oh, it so takes place this it summer. It takes okay. place this past 2019 summer. Yeah. Right? Are you going to, but you can't predict the future. So you yeah, so, so I've been whatever making, happens. I'm making these these first three, but I'm just not making them in order because I need more oh, okay. production. But so you're splitting up the ones. the time, like the summer. You're splitting it up into three parts. No, no, it's different. Um, so are this, different? The, the third part that's coming out, hopefully first, is going to be um, it. That's like going to be originals. It's mm. gonna. It's the yeah. It's like thematically. Or I guess aesthetically, like video gaming, because this summer was just like I was just gaming, gaming like in real life, just like GTA <laughs> real life mode, like every day, like get up, go, whip it down, fucking seventeen, like viciously to wait, go wait, hang so out with people. Here, not in LA, right? Yeah, here. Okay, here. okay, okay. Um, but GTA so that's mode. that's that. The first part of it, um, like the ep- episode one, mm. is going to be about back when I was in high school, when I did um, jazz choir, and that's all gonna be Ooh. jazz covers. It's gonna that's be a awesome. cover album, yeah. That's oh awesome. God. But like not, like I want the production style to be like modern, like bedroom indie style, like 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 instrumentation, yeah. but just of these really old like jazz, like like Antonio Carlos Jobim, like mm. some Frank Sinatra Damn. stuff. Cause I learned mm. all these songs back when yeah. I did like that that jazz group. And I, I had made a couple covers for, um, one of my classes at West Valley as like projects, like semester finals, we had to create like a logic, like just like make a song, like literally make a fucking song Mm -hmm. go. So I did like a cover of, you know, some jazz song just by, I like pulled up the sheet music off Google, but it's fun. And I just want to make like original renditions of that. Cause then I can like call up, the you know the jazz mm-hmm. radio like 90 91.1 like, like yo shit. you know throw me on the air dude like oh, i'm gonna get my dad to think that's cool you know my, that's, my jazz. yeah that's like that's that's all the validation i like dude. i don't like i don't that's care sick. about you know whatever getting some but like online personalities attention like if i can be on a music station mm-hmm. or something then i will feel like legitimized you know yeah, dude. I was, then you'll really exist. Yeah. Flalo just like FM. that. Not only just as an artist, but just like <laughs> just as a dude. Yeah, and then it's exactly, and then it's like, oh, here's this is me. This is my portfolio of, mm. of creation that I've like. Yeah. I put my time into making this. Yeah, like like yeah. you're that much closer to being like individualized. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. and like oh, you have this like coming of age. You have this. Well, you always is a coming of identity, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's yeah. like I'm taking my my experiences and my like all of my negative and positive memories of like the the bullshit i went through and i'm sculpting it into this like sound mm-hmm. you know music piece mm-hmm. so that's gonna be like a, yeah it's, it's it's like that's what i look at it as ever since i learned about frequencies in like my west valley class it's like mm. every song is just a an air sculpture like it's just vibrating your oh, your, your ears and your yeah. body in a certain specific mm. way that that is appealing mm. to like to experience. To, to, yeah. Yeah, and and appealing is a is a general word, obviously, because it could literally be any sorts of appealing, not necessarily making us happier. Like I heard, and I'm I'm almost sure you disagree with this, uh, as as you know, you'd call it maybe too simple or maybe doesn't get the picture enough, but Ariana Grande said, like, the purpose of music is to make us happy or whatever. I but, mean, but, yeah, that's, but that's... I would so... Okay, that's surprising, because immediately I think of sad music. So people, I mean, people can say that when they listen... simplified, yeah. Not, exactly, so now that you're so... See, because now you got it. The purpose of her... Sure, sure, like, no, but... Oh, okay, not even, all right, no, 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 so no, no. So I got something to say here, so... Yeah. People can say that when they listen to sad music, it makes them happier, right? But they'd be wrong in a way. Yeah. Um, in that, you know, it doesn't, you know, there's not a lot. It's it's more so that it keeps you in that mood. Yeah, and, so it's, and, a, and, and it's keeps, a complex mix of... It, it allows you to, yeah, it allows you to stick to a, sort of a rumination of yeah. where you currently are. Yeah. And it allow like, it's what we call simping. Yeah. Simping yes. is just literally the prolonging like of, with the use yes, of music of, of a negative, negative emotion feeling. that's because true. there's some pull there's oh, some pull to like sit in the cold bathtub after the water's like 
yeah. in gold for a while yeah. just to sit there yeah, just cause. and feel bad. It's just, you know, whatever, whatever reason that is, but people use music for that. And it's like, you know, that's a debate whether or not that's beneficial, right? Whether or not it's good for the world to have sad music, right? That's, that's a whole thing, but, but people love it. That's not debatable. People love doing that. Yeah. It's because I think like we're just designed like as a species to like, we're, since we're like self-aware we sometimes like will unconsciously make the decision to continue like like prolonging our suffering if it's not you know like physical you know some for some people they do you know they they yeah Yeah. it's like it it can become almost a good feeling in a way even Mm. though it's not like explicitly outright a, a positive feeling you're experiencing like the wider range of emotions that's possible in like mm-hmm. the human spectrum. Like, so okay, you're hitting the negative end like of the of yeah. the, the, the meters like peaking. No, but no. So you could say maybe there's some curiosity involved yes. in some individuals. They want to reach different curiosity of places. Yeah. Curiosity and openness towards that. But in the specific sad moments, and people listen to the same sad songs over and over again. I think largely, uh, maybe curiosity is a part is 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 in, can be a causal thing in, in in the phenomena but i almost think it's it's uh, an ego thing to forego the immediate joy or just in a like a higher sense of being for um for whatever you're doing when you're simping i think it individualizes you and i think what it does is when you're simping you're simping on an experience or a collection of memories that mm-hmm. only you've had and when you get to when you get to hear a song um that's a sad song. You get to, to you get to solidify an identity of yourself as a, it's like an oh woe is me identity. But it, I feel like it's an ego thing. I feel like someone who is egoless would not do that. You know yeah, what I mean? They think like, it's just like it's, it's just silly. yeah. You just yeah. you know take, take a, a breath, breath dog. dog. Yeah, like, like, why, are you, it's why are you making a, yourself suffer? It's a, it's a little bit of a self centered thing. I think um, yeah. not in a bad way, but it's just like it's just what like, we will uh, we will sacrifice a lot of things for identity. And for like feelings of having an important individualized identity, yeah. we will, we will take through, we will be, we will experience a lot of pain to do that. And I think that's probably what it is, but that is, that's pretty unscientific, yeah. right? As if we weren't already basically postulating about this whole thing. That's just a guess that I have. Well, isn't it also that like, it's just like music is relatable too. Yeah. I was going to say, I feel like part of it is that music is like on the fringe of almost being its own language in that it's it's just different levels of like like vibration frequency and like when we talk like we perceive tone of like a voice and intent Mm -hmm. by the pitch of you know how like where our voice is and shit Mm -hmm. so just like the relation of tones and stuff can convey specific like emotions like if you play like you know that that like y'all see the incredibles yeah yeah y'all know how like they Mm -hmm. they like use that one like that one chord that sounds yeah. like a spy like yeah, movie yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like, like we just know that. Yeah. And like yeah. you mm. can like you you can convey that just from the frequencies of different or instruments like, and stuff. It's like, definitely yeah. it's definitely multifaceted because you can listen to a song that isn't from another human being. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, you could still simp on it. Right? right. That would still work just as well, right? If an AI came up and made it. Yeah. yeah. It it's just you know, I'm sure the, the the community and like the bond you feel with an artist or with a collection of people, if people are on Twitter all listening to the same song, simping about it, and people are like, there's something in the air this season, you know, some chick with bangs needs to tell me what, what stars are aligned. And it's just, it's just like, you know, group simping is, is maybe can be preferable to single simping, but single simping is a thing, right? And you can, yeah. So it, I think what we found is that there's a lot of different reasons that people do it. Yeah, it's yeah. not, a, it's not like, just for me. Like and like, I for a period of time, I actually like the album that made me like my my. I think my original like OG big simp album was f- like Flower Boy by mm. Tyler the Creator because mm. I also listened to that while I was tripping the first time and that brought that like gave me this you know like concept of you know the whole s- underlying story thing, mm. but. Like, I, when I was, like, going through my synth phase, I totally, like, I put on specific songs, and, like, it makes 
you feel certain emotions as you're listening to it because like the 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 language of that music can recall like memory just from like the way that that same those same chords and stuff are used like yeah by other people because they feel it conveys the same you know oh, yeah. whatever Com- so there's common, common yeah yeah because like, for common every emotions. yeah like every pop song almost ever uses like the same combination of like four or five chords like yeah. the same basic chords like it, it because it's it's simple and it like conveys those like same emotions that people enjoy feeling but mm-hmm. like if you're you know just dis- emotionally distraught yeah if you're emotionally distraught and you're listening to something that's like 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 pulling on your emotions and is like recalling your you know your experiences and like the shit that you miss like it's you you have a sense of like you're experiencing emotions that are like and like feelings that are going deeper than just language and words and stuff yeah. you know so people will just play that you know that song it's hard to over. verbalize mm-hmm. emotions yeah you can't times, yeah but you just feel they it. just know from the song like oh my gosh this part i get it because that's how i feel like, yeah mm-hmm. but like what does that actually mean it's just yeah. a sound how do you right. feel that way like yeah, yeah. i think we could say it's closer to like the dream of of like the phenomena itself as in like articulation and words are they come at the very end like at first you feel something then you get an image of something you get all the senses and then at the very end you can condense this whole mist this whole vision this whole everything into a sentence right and if you're not very good at that it's gonna come out shit and you're not gonna convey anything right so some people are very good lyricists and can actually reverse that process and can only with words put you in a vision yeah that's right? true but that's some impressive shit. that vision is going to be different from everyone else because if you think of this like reverse pyramid where at the very bottom is the condensed form the sentence right and everybody has different brains and minds the words they can hit different uh valves and it's sort of like music even if it's just words and sentences some speakers can do that but it's going to flare up in a different all the you know other parts of it that are deeper um for each individual when you have the music, it's more closer to being universal. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like everyone can yeah. understand it in the same way. Right. Because, yeah. yeah. I think it's interesting how, um, like, for you, you're trying to create, I guess, your life or these times in your life into, like, a cohesive story or, like, package it up yeah. into something that either you can look back at or, like, listen to or yeah, something like that. Yeah, and that will be just like a, it's like a memory in itself. But yeah. it's also, you know, something other people can hopefully, like, they just will click on relate it and either relate it. to and it like, or be like, oh, this is, I like this because it's titled, like, this one thing that mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. familiar with from iconography of, you know, yeah. whatever genre that. That's cool. Is. You're going to listen, you listen to your music, like, like how you would any other music, too. Yeah, like, I want mm. it to be, like, like yeah. I'm not, I don't want to just, like, get a beat and then be like all right i'm gonna write some <laughs> bars for it yo uh, coming on the track got the can and the soda okay. whack gotta drink do it yeah yeah money mm. stacks on the on the gas because you're making it exactly <laughs> how <laughs> was... like, bro put that on sound <laughs> bro, bro, that's, bro, that's the, bro put, it, put the demo up put it i'll, I'll like i'll mix it later mm-hmm. yeah 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 oh. yeah, yeah, yeah it dies <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's the best song I ever made. It's just like fucking like a 30 second file, dude. But that's I, how I felt at first. I was like making like shit. I understand like, kind of like what like what you're doing because I I feel like I'm trying to do that in in the same way, but obviously in some what of a in a, of a different format. Yeah, or, yeah. Like like I enjoy like making videos and like can trying to convey emotions through. Um, whatever it might be like video mm-hmm. and like also using music to to do that as well yeah um, and like you, i've seen like m- i think there's maybe one I, I didn't watch the last one that you put up but i saw oh, yeah. the ones before that and like the, those also were like seeing those it's like oh like this is here we go like here's a great here's something i can look at that's someone that i you know have known who i like, probably takes a lot from like inspiration like sources that I also, yeah. you know, look at because mm-hmm. we all, you know, enjoyed a lot of the same shit growing up. Yeah. So like, 
just being able to look at that and like I I get like that, those videos I watch it, I'm like oh this is cool like this is just you know mm -hmm. this is just the vibes of this and you know yeah. the song is just you know this is, an, this is a very nice visual you know, I section I appreciate that and I think yeah. it's interesting it's how it's like how like humans because like especially in like artists and people who try to um, who are very creative and portray things um, a lot of times it is of their life and it's interesting how I think that like as humans, we try to, um, we try to document our life maybe as, uh, like in an artistic form, like, mm. like yeah. we don't necessarily like, I don't know, I, I don't know, I guess I don't almost, know how to verbalize it very well. Well, almost regardless of the intention to do it, we do it anyway. Like yeah. I, I heard, I heard, I think it was, uh, one of these writers, he had to, he, he's a professor, uh, maybe I can, I can find him in a bit, but he was an English professor and he's a writer and like. All his friends were like depressed writers, like it's just you know the standard. Yeah. And he had a thing. He was like, "Don't write about your life. Like you'll end up doing that anyway." Oh, um, yeah, yeah. In that, mm -hmm. it's it it can just be you know <laughs> the most natural thing. Yeah. Like you just don't even have to think about it. It's like, it, like you could be why writing are you doing it? like why are you portraying like your life? Like why are you mm. documenting? It's just like it's just. So yeah. It comes naturally, like e even if you were to try to make a video that was, or like a write a book that was a fiction about something completely different, or make a video, mm -hmm. you know, that was maybe artistic about something completely different, it would end up reflecting. There's a reason it came up in your brain. Yeah. yeah. There's a reason it came up in your brain, right? So it's just that, yeah. It's it's, and when you when you make an intention that's apart from just displaying it, and you display it more through like subtle and like more implied means you almost get like a pure form of it in that in the same way you get a pure form listening to music rather than words yeah. it's that same i'm gonna try to you know it's i think there's a similar verse <laughs> yeah yeah more it's more like the music than it is like the words yeah, yeah. But less comprehension. The music you're making is like literally catered exactly to you. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like, so. like I, I just like, I feel because there's like, there was just so many moments like during this summer and like after this summer because a lot of the the, I would anytime I would go out in my car, I would like pretend I was like getting in my like little spaceship to go like fly uh, on the the freeway you know to go wherever but i would like play like the star wars soundtrack on my ox and it's like, <laughs> like the song when yeah. like obi-wan is chasing yeah. grievous yeah. on like the wheel like, <laughs> yeah. and it's like mm, you know like the freeway Dude, that's it's so sick, sick. So, like, but you know yeah. you put any other music like you open spotify and click on literally anything it's just gonna be like a, a beat in like four four I do oh, like, Western yeah. music is the same. It's yeah. all the yeah, same. Yeah. It sounds like it sounds like a marching band. Yeah, it's just yeah. every, That's what yeah. like people from yeah like That's elsewhere like, in the world like yeah. yeah. I went to um <laughs> like, yeah you put on like like the the twenty the twenty stage and like. <laughs> Yeah, I, can. La, la I, can't, I can't do some. I was gonna like make yeah, up Spanish way. words, <laughs> not really Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, shit! shit. Conquista de bebe de Gigi. <laughs> Star of the show. What does she have to say? Dude, she the first female it. guest. <laughs> Bro, moment. So how trained is she? <laughs> Dude, she doesn't have to be trained. She can barely move. I know, right? she's like stone. She's old. She's old and will like she honestly she moves. Like she gets really hyper. She acts like a baby. But whenever she's like on top of me, she's like, okay, I'm just gonna sit and not move. Mm. I don't know Dude. why she's like crying right now. Maybe I she's always, pee. I'll be getting horse vibes. Horse. Yeah, she's a little she's she's like my little alien creature. Yeah. She's so oh, remember what she's so oh. strong. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember like some textbook image of these really small horses. Oh, like like it was like early evolution of horses. <laughs> like, yeah. This will be horses in twenty. <laughs> yeah, and there's that little Damn. Bit. <laughs> I don't know why they grew, but I think they used to be small. Horses in twenty twenty. It's five, bro. All right, it's five. Go. Ah. We... Dude, Dude, that's, that's so stupid. Dude, the podcast just gets slowly better as it goes on. Like the first like twenty minutes are just like blah blah blah. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's only two settings. You watched Nate had it muted the whole time. <laughs> no, it's, it's right. All right, now Dude, that did Nate's Nate gone. Did Nate say anything? <laughs> no. All right, now that Nate's gone, we talk shit about Nate. <laughs> I know, bro. No. Fuck Nate. Well, <laughs> what were we saying? Before? What were we talking about before? Uh, Jesus. We just, I knew the time was wrapping up, so we just went back to the dog. Yeah. <laughs> but we were basically talking about, about, like, the inevitable... Oh. You have to get closer again. Yeah, 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 I got you. Hey, wait, you, guys you don't want, have to yell, though. You guys want a crazy question? What's up, sure. what's up? Who do you think is going to clinch the nomination? <laughs> clinch? Or the so, D's. Okay, the so, D's. so I think it's a... Uh, I think it's a... It's, um, there's two scenarios. One, Bernie wins the nomination. Outright. The, the Democratic uh, nomination. He's the Democratic nominee. Fuck. Yes. Okay. The other, he isn't, okay? And those are the only two scenarios that matter, okay? Because here's the problem. If he doesn't win, Biden wins. If Biden wins, the Democrats lose. Correct. Trump wins, Trump wins okay? Correct. If Bernie wins, if Bernie wins the nominee, the nomination, and he's in the general against Trump, now you have something interesting. Now you have something very, very interesting going on. Because Bernie, by all means, is... Uh, is what's it called an outlier in terms of the the what's it called a statistical analysis of like what should be happening when a candidate does this what should their support be doing yeah bernie seems to break those he seems to be an anomaly and that i'll give yeah. you an example so um every candidate if you look um when they performed out on stage or on debates or when they were outward and people were looking at them in any way and they were outwardly angry, mm-hmm. and they weren't Trump. Their shit went down. Yeah, their shit went down. So, so true. what we know is what we know is anger doesn't work unless you're Trump and you're yeah. Trump supporting. Yeah. So, so okay, he it's like he has a monopoly on it, right? He's bought a monopoly on on rage, and yeah. so if you're standing next to him or you're talking about him and you just you're just raging, you look like the the standard SJW that lost in 2016 yeah. and that everybody knows is a total loser, mm-hmm. right? That's the brand of somebody who's mad at Trump. Yeah, He's, I really don't think there's any reality in which Biden could have any effective defense or sentence okay. so, to combat anything but, that so, Trump could yeah. say. But at least him. Biden, well, no, but Biden does get angry too. So, so he, Biden gets angry too. So that's it, it's. But it's way. It, it's good that you brought it's that up. Scarier and like it's it's, it's weirder. But he looks just he lo- always reverts anger towards Trump. Always reverts yeah. back to that loserhood. In yeah. which, if you look, even if you look at Twitter and you're not a Trump supporter, you can look at people saying shit to Donald Trump on on Twitter, like, "Oh, you're this, that, and the other," and they have like some yeah, insult like, that they took two hours to make in yeah. the 280 character limit, and it's just like. You're too angry and it falls flat. But exactly. when you have Trump supporters or when you have this like masculine identity that has these red hats on, their anger doesn't hurt them. It doesn't make them look foolish or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. Because it's this we live in this we, for for a limited mo- time only, Trump owns all anger, right? Yes, so, he's so, literally the if yeah. you're mad at uh-huh. America or the political system, like Trump is your middle finger to the entire establishment system, but like Trump is literally the dislike button for the on the government right now. If you oh, yeah. don't like, if you're not cool with the government and you're like unhappy with them, literally, like Trump. So, so like, that's... he just advertises himself as like, like he just like you know mm-hmm. gets mad and scapegoats and then I, he's like, I have a feeling I'm the that... outsider. I swear I'm the outsider. Put me in there. I have a feeling that image of Trump is dying. Yeah. And that it used to be there starchly during when he was running in 2016. Yeah, and that's, people that's, had that's him. That's how he so, ran, yeah. so, but you, but so you agree that it's that image has yeah. been dying slowly. Yeah. Okay, cool. I just, I just, I think. yeah, it as is, things. Okay, so, yeah. but, but so he's now he's getting more tired. You know, he's like, um, or or just, just like, his oh, pol- like the Democrats. He's more like, like, oh, yeah, he's like, it's so sad, so puny. He, it's just like he, he he's just seems pretty center. Yeah. He just he, he really just seems is. pretty centered. The more and more as time goes by, he's just like center right. You know, yeah, it's just like really. it's the same. It's the same exact like like he's a little bit more um what's it called like uh anti war than yeah. like the past guys we've had. Yeah. Um, but as far as like 
job outsourcing like there was a bunch of headlines about like trump saving the day as, in terms of that yeah. but the number the numbers don't necessarily display that he was much better at obama at keeping all the jobs here like that carrier thing flunked right because carrier did the douche move yeah. and they offsourced anyway and it's just like th things haven't been turned out like and so but i wanted to get back to the the anger thing and how like the relations will work right mm -hmm. because that anger thing is is partly why um um, Buttigieg is, is doing well in that Buttigieg has zero anger yeah. except maybe when Tulsi Gabbard was f you know shooting missiles at him yeah in that like previous <laughs> debate lightning strike yeah yeah just just you know <laughs> dropping the hell storm oh, friendly like, lightning strike kill, kill streak yeah which is what <laughs> Tulsi does right which is like what she's good at she's good at like character assassinations like it took her maybe two sentences for Kamala Harris did you guys see the, the debate moment where they like called on her for some uh question or something and she like gave like a, a 10 second like i don't really care about this question answer and was like but um what i do want to do is uh turn my attention to senator warren and then they were like okay we're gonna we have to uh we're cutting now to commercial thank you that's all the time and like all the moderators just like talking yeah, 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 yeah. over each other it's yeah like that like they literally don't want her yeah. To do her Tulsi move. Like, yeah, yeah. And, like, now Just, they're doing the shit where they're raising the thresholds so mm. that, like... But she didn't see... Didn't she choose not to, to go to the last one? Like, yeah. she's just like, oh, I'm I mean, not going. She's just done with the debates. Like, I'm that's, anticipating... That's I, so I, weird. They literally just, like, we don't like you, cap it. Like, and now Yang's almost maybe not going to make the next debate, but I well, think that might even help him. So, know. looks like Gigi's got something to say, but, but we do, but... If we talk about, like... Without Gabbard in the room, um, Buttigieg is like cool collectedness in that when you imagine him versus Trump, you imagine him, he's just standard, like he's just saying the facts, he's just saying what he believes, or you know, the facts, you get me. Exactly. He's just, that's what he comes across as. Yeah. And that is what could possibly work against, against, uh, against Trump. So it's just like, just calm, yeah, not mad that Trump is just like just not sjw anger just looks different than that yeah. that's cool but the reason i brought up the anomaly is because this whole thing was an example for why bernie is an anomaly right yeah. bernie's anger doesn't do shit it yeah. doesn't it doesn't hurt him yeah bernie can be old man yeah. angry and it doesn't hurt him it's, 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 it's not like older. threatening yeah it's yeah just like it's like yeah he's just like, we have big pharma <laughs> killing like yeah. this many americans like and it's like well that's a real thing that's happening mm -hmm. and the government allowed that to happen and he's just so leaning over he's, he's got like this, this guy clearly is upset about this like yeah yeah, yeah. no it's but like he wants to really fix it you know yeah and against Buttigieg and joe right he was like he was like he's like he's like pete you know you want to take Joe on that billionaire competition? Oh, yeah. He's, and he's, he's just like, like kind of pissed. He's like, he's like, Pete, I know you're a very enthusiastic guy. Uh, hopefully we can see if you can take on Joe. <laughs> yeah. The number of billionaire donors. Get four more billionaires. Hopefully you can surpass him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On that issue. That was so great. Yeah. Like, like So to your, to your point, mm. this is my um, – here's my perspective on why I feel like – Yang might be perfectly utilizing that strategy. Mm. Um, have you seen that video of him making a boomer like like get his mind blown or something on a rally? So no, I haven't watched no. shit on 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 him so, okay. since the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, okay, damn. So I literally daily I'm on this. So there was a rally where he was talking to a guy who looked like he's probably in like his his fifties, I'd say, like a you know father. Yeah, and he's just asking him. Um, I f he was like talking about how there's a certain anger in the country that Trump has completely tapped into and like utilized to mobilize all of his supporters and stuff and he he asked Yang why he thinks he's able to tap into that level of anger that Trump voters feel and like get some of those Trump voters in his camp and Yang said I think the reason why people are attracted to our message is because we're focused on fixing the issues and people feel like I'm the only candidate that does that is not judging them like no matter what issue it is like no one is feeling judged by me all I want to do is solve the issues and help like at the maximum yeah. amount and the dude was like the dude was like well, he literally did that in that, he was like whoa you're right and I feel like this is what like ever since the day I saw yang and found out about the hats i was like and the thousand dollars it instantly clicked 
that he's attempting the viral anti-Trump because he's taking the Trump strategy mm. and completely inverting it. He's Trump did he went with huge name recognition and drowning the media and other candidates in negativity and merch in and, yeah and merch money but like anger and all negativity and like smears right and he won yang is doing the like completely just like flipped on its head because he is going from zero name recognition at all and using exclusively positive um outlooks and and like language and in all of his you know policies he's he's just like trying to make as much positive change for people as possible and i think it's working because they each have the perfect like controversy platform for trump it was build the wall right everyone like every news station like that whenever they tr like covered trump it was always about the wall and getting mexico to pay for it that sounds ridiculous, right? Obviously, it's, you know, sort of a... It, it fell apart. But he, you know, made this huge promise, and some people were so rallied behind it because they really thought, this will fix our country. If we have a wall, then all the immigrants won't be flowing in or whatever, and then, you know, the jobs will be secure or whatever. But Yang is just saying, well, no, we shouldn't build a wall to keep out immigrants because that's not the problem we need to build a floor to keep our people from slipping through the cracks of the economy mm. and just like dying or killing themselves or overdosing mm. or doing mm -hmm. a shooting because that's yeah. happening at disproportionately huge rates mm. so he's saying build a floor give everyone one thousand dollars a month and people are like what the fuck like, money Where are you gonna you can't pay for that that's ridiculous so it's this huge like anytime you bring it up everyone automatically has an opinion on it like going in mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but it's like it's just you know like i don't think i can't think of any other candidate i know bernie is like medicare like that's his thing and right like getting big money out like he is a very clear like, right like folder of ideology and goals that's like all right this guy's like the real deal yeah but with yang it's like he's he's just like the complete he's like lining himself up like ideologically in a you know it's such a weird way it's like center without being it's like he's he just it's like far left but center at but not center it's like he wants there's like republicans that support him for like so specific yeah reasons. the labeling of him isn't isn't uh like a clear uh yeah. dedication to a and party it's I, more I saw, just his personality yeah. is what people think yeah of. it's it's all about like his it's like they don't associate him with the democratic party at all it's like mm. this is andrew yang the mm. guy who's yes. like here and wants to fix it yeah. the dude yeah he's essentially independent he's just going through he's like threw himself into the meat grinder of the mm. dnc and like this is like the week where we find out if he makes it through or if they just what, don't let him in. What do you think? Day, so, but. obviously, Bernie has um, you know a bigger following than um, Andrew Yang, mm -hmm. and even though like you know maybe I'd like Andrew Yang better, like if it were to come down to it though, would you like maybe Andrew Yang just doesn't have what you know doesn't have the following to win, and like at that mean, point, yeah. do you vote for Bernie Sanders instead? Yeah, I'm so that, like, I'm really. Biden? I think a huge portion of his base, honestly, is a lot of former Bernie supporters. Sup supporters. <laughs> Bernie supporters. Yeah. Bernie yes. Sanders supporters. Yes. Because I was a former Bernie supporter. Yeah. Um, I would have voted for him in 2016, but I wasn't old enough to vote. I would be voting for Bernie Sanders, no question in my mind, if Andrew Yang wasn't running. Mm. And it's only because, like, I don't, like, I just, I just personally feel through what I've seen that, yeah. like, having a freedom dividend would, like, give people the type of economic mobility that they need. Because free college is a great thing, but it's going to take a lot of resources and a huge movement. Cooperation like, as well. And cooperation in, like, within the, the like within congress to make that happen and even, and even then yeah two-thirds of like 
Americans like don't you know graduate from a, from colleges or whatever yeah. the stat was I heard it earlier today, and then f- like forty four percent of new college graduates like are in a job that doesn't require the degree yeah. that they have. Mm-hmm. So like it's it's I, so almost like you know giving it a, a a big opportunity for for like less yield than it would have had you know a few decades ago like significantly less like so yeah you know. we we so um like I. I'm okay with having like a discussion on policy, but it's just like I'm so unbacked, undecided, and just without numbers, yeah, and, like completely exactly. numbers. Yeah, no, I have exactly. nothing with me, so I like this. Like I, I can com- I can fruitfully thinking. participate in the discussion when we're talking about um, perceptions, yes, and and stuff because that's yeah. stuff that I'm gonna care about anyway, and I can have yeah. an intuition for. And uh, there's so you know, and and what little data I had on like the anger stuff, but. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I don't know no, if I, I can. Just, I don't know if I can pod, like abstract yeah. on what you've. And like, I there honestly are, like areas where I feel like Bernie Sanders is more, is like a more. He has like a better stance on certain issues, for many Americans, and I I can respect the fact that a lot of people like, like really feel like we need single payer health care, mm, yeah. and like like to because you know I really don't. Uh, like big farm is terrifying mm-hmm. but like i just think that the full package of what a yang administration would bring to the white house would fundamentally shift the direction our government is going in because like like this is a small this is two small things but this like to me really makes it like stand out like the difference one of them is powerpoint at the state of the union address because like that's a it's such a useless like it's just a speech at this point you're just going out and doing a it's like a such a performative thing it's just mm-hmm. you know you're discussing you know the state of the country but what is what are those few things that you're going to talk about really mean like if you're in a time of war like they're just going to talk about you know being whatever. strong but if you have a, a a actual presentation of here's our life expectancy here's you know our the stats of how many kids are you know doing well or or graduating here's our workforce you know stats here's the economy here's you know our new measurements of how well the economy is doing based on how how well people's quality of life is and like these are the things that are not working this is what i'm going to address within my next year of the presidency like because numerically here are the issues that i can see that i need to solve like and the other one would be taking clean water regulation away from the EPA, which is like a shell of an agency I've heard. Like it's not even because like places like Flint, you know, like there is essentially no like water quality regulation or whatever, like, or, you know, very little, but that's like in a lot of places around the country. And it's because the EPA just like, doesn't like, I guess doesn't have funding or the infrastructure it needs. (laughs) But mm. it, so he wants to like take it away from that agency and um, reprioritize it as um, national health concern, and then clean water would automatically move. Would get like, like the fixing funding? the yeah fixing okay. like pipe infrastructure and yeah. all that shit would become way higher on like the. Mm. the so federal, he does so like so yeah, but one so one of his people is just shit. like all these policies. He has the most listed policies he yeah. supports on his website, and he's just this. He's just this like this logos guy you know yeah, so, so like that's cool and you, and you see that and you think of issues that you've never even uh, you know you didn't like even know the facts yeah. on the issues yeah. and he's already sitting there with the solution yeah. and it's like yeah. it's like really that's that's I imagine that's pretty inspiring to see in somebody but I also yes. uh, what's it called um, th- so you you so you have that um, and then you have uh, something I was holding on to when I was listening to you which was uh, about Bernie or uh, Trump. Oh, you have you so you have all of that, and then you have, you know, his his brand is the issue, his brand is the issues he he brings up yeah. as this guy that just brings up issues rather than like a you know yeah. Democrat or whatever. Yeah. What you see is that, or no, what what's cool about his campaign is because he has just a thousand dollars. Like it's it's new, quote unquote, in the sphere. Yeah. In the sphere of, of conversation, it's exactly. it's a new thing. So support towards Andrew Yang, uh, like money wise or just spreading the word, 
can never go even if he loses um can never have zero value it's you're always even if he loses the bigger he gets the more you can say the overton window shifts yes the more the conversation shifts the more like you know the bigger yang gets the more likely we are to have everybody have a point of view yeah on 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 whether or not have it to be a serious debate and now in the same way Bernie was talking about all this stuff in 2016 no one, that was yeah, super exactly. alien. Exactly. Now you have every Democrat every single, yeah. copying yeah. Bernie yeah. from 2016. Yeah. And so if you were to give money and support Tom Steyer, <laughs> you're... Steyer, Steyer. Oh, the Kalinske, the Kalinske I meme? That. I love that. <laughs> Kalinske meme. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I think it's Steyer, though. I guess. I think... I think, I think at the debates, they call him Mr. Steyer. Hello, Mr. Oh. <laughs> but they're like, okay. Well, we don't know which one. Funny matter. enough, I think Kyle has confused us. Kyle, has, watching yes. Kyle Kalinsky has, has done has nothing but confuse us on this man's <laughs> name. Okay, but supporting him does jack shit. Yeah. It, well, once he loses, everything's gone. It it it, it, it falls into a void. Yeah. That guy is no who. Yeah. Oh, he ran like four years he ago. To, like, make, like, he ran change, what? I guess. <laughs> he wanted to like. He wanted, he wanted to, to make America a better place. <laughs> he wanted to like make America good, I guess. Yeah, like he had some things to say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he just, like he was at, like at money. The, his it, deathbed. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. So supporting Yang, whether or not he wins, changes something. You know. Uh, that's new thoughts on the table. That's exciting yeah. about about yeah. him. I think for a lot of I, people. Yeah, I genuinely think either. There's, there's two paths that I see. Yang makes this next debate by some miracle of... Because do you guys know what's going on with his like with his campaign right now? There's, so is he you know, is he struggling on the edge of the requirements? They are... They, the DNC raised the requirements like within this last week or so for the next um, debate in January. They like raised the thresholds. Um, okay. And there haven't been any polls conducted that the DNC has like qual- like qualified as approved for like for, for, for being right. an official poll quote unquote even though there's mm-hmm. other ones that they haven't approved that were like run in 2016 that were more accurate than the ones that are approved for this year. I saw a video about that. Mm. But um so they're skewing it, but they haven't run any polls that have, that like count in like the last 35 days or some what? shit. And like they just raised the threshold like recently and they're still they still aren't running any polls so mm. andrew contacted the dnc wrote a letter told them to ask the pollsters to conduct more polls to come out soon mm. for the you know the de- the debate like cut off um hmm. that's and then they just refused they were like no we can't we're not allowed to do that but wait they, why not but they they said something that was like not what he requested them to do like whoa we're not allowed to conduct polls because the, the, mm-hmm. the, the, he's, like, well, he's Just, asking them to contact the the ones who do conduct the polls who are third party because the D, i found out the dnc is a company yeah the dnc is literally a company Wait, that what? can like control like they're in charge of like running the whole oh they're not like, uh, like they're oh, okay. not a branch of the government no yeah. no no, no, no. it's sense. awful it's i i despise them yeah like they're no they they, they have the ones they can, crafting the sure the, they can surgically cut him out of the debate. They can say yes. this number, that number, and they can surgically cut because they know his numbers. Yeah, they they have all the numbers. So those, so that yeah, and so they can mm-hmm. decide should we raise the you know the threshold. Who's gonna run? You I mean maybe you can you can run as a Republican to get rid of the DNC, <laughs> but you know who's gonna run and make that happen? Right? Yeah. I mean like yeah. you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pull some some baller move where you run as a like a, just a, a corporate Democrat or something that's yeah. like. Like you, you just run as Joe Biden or something, yeah. Joe Biden light, and then like you go in, and what? then like as soon as you get in office, you switch up and just destroy the DNC, ah, <laughs> just disembody the it. Grand, Hold yeah. the, the the Trojan horse candidate, yeah. pretend to be a corporatist the whole time. Yeah, but, no, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, and then yeah. switch up and just be like, all right, what's up? This is what I really believe. Yeah, and I don't even care that I like lied. That's what Hillary like expected us to think she would be. <laughs> like, I'm gonna, f- I'm a progressive. We need we Medicare need? <laughs> for all. We need people who <laughs> said I was a progressive want it. weenie. <laughs> As a progressive weenie, I Hillary Clinton yes. will be McCarthy smearing the only decent candidates this year. Oh yeah. Uh, every dude, every boomer I have asked 
I'm like, what do you think of Tulsi Gabbard? And they're like, oh, I don't, I don't like that lady. And I say, why? And I watch them. They're like DefCon three. Uh, uh, I just, um, you know, she's yeah, a woman. I just, she's, yeah, I don't like, uh, I just don't like the way that like she like her talks. nose. It's like, okay. <laughs> so you've seen uh, so the CNN coverage of her, I guess. Then yeah, like, yeah, and no, that's just... it. Like, and my mom was like, oh, I like, oh, I don't like her. Like she. I just I just don't like the way he, she talks or like she just uh, she, I just don't like her her face like she just looks like you know they people say, want they a said she's a Russian people want like, a female president they said like, they said <laughs> they said she's a Russian asset <laughs> sorry sorry podcast a Russian viewers. asset yeah. Russian you just, ass yeah. at damn damn all right I say we're pretty much we're pretty good I like this last bit I like just like. We had this Politics. whole thing about music, and like Nate was just sitting there, and then like, yeah. and then Nate and we just got thirty minutes of like, left. of like, okay, like it was pretty good, pretty like half baked yeah. political takes. By the way, I haven't watched no, any no. of the yeah. political debates or anything. Bro, they have the lowest ratings this year, like ever. Dude, it's because it's just. I mean, suck. actually, I watched one. The but. questions are bad, dude. They're so like skewed and like weirdly worded they asked uh dude we need some zoomers to run the dnc uh, yeah. debates bro <laughs> dude i'd like, rather have a bunch of drooling zoomers run the fucking country like, yeah, yeah. than these so like, what like what so are you gonna like, do you to you like help gonna, us so what do you do about the jewel ban what are you guys gonna do dude, about honestly, the like, jewel flavors? enough of them are conservative enough of them are like you you'd, you'd still have a goddamn working country if you had drooling zoomers run the damn place <laughs> <laughs> or at least and run, be the moderators. All right, guys, chill. Yeah. No, no, chill, no, no. Guys. dude. Honestly, honestly. Excuse me, uh, no, Mr. Chill. Biden. Please chill. Please chill. I'm please, gonna have to ask please, you to your chill. time please. is up. Please, uh, please take a chiller. <laughs> would everybody, would every Democrat, please extract the Werther's original from their right pocket? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden. Like, I got an extra. Bag. I got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> and Warren's like, I bought an extra bag. If <laughs> does anybody want some to take home? Cringe. All right. Warren be like. I've got a plan for that. I swear. <laughs> I swear. That's pretty good. It's 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 called, um, uh, God's plan. <laughs> it's called God's plan. <laughs> that called awesome. when I get in office, I will put my pen to the paper, and God Himself will flow through me and write the legislation down. So help me, Lord, I will fix this country. Honestly. I don't, know, she's, I don't know how like she's probably like three drinks away from talking about that shit. It's almost like she's very I, mid. She she's very she feels very old ladyish. Yeah. No, very no, it's like professorial, and like just weirdly, like like recently, of America. yeah. Recently, she's had like some like character flex bend or just something like that where it's just like people <laughs> are watching her. Like, and they're just like, oh, I love this woman, and then they keep watching her. It's just like. Oh shit! <laughs> it's like, no. Like, Where's she going? And then she's like, Where's she going? <laughs> she's like, she's like, like wrong, wrong way, wrong way. Like, oh, yeah. Medicare for all. Uh, I got this whole plan for that. Bro, it's not clip. You guys seen the clip where someone's like, do you, they like go up to Warren and like, if you were president, do you, would it be oh, Do you believe it'd be okay for a family member of yours, a, a son or daughter of yours, to sit on a foreign board of a company? of like a, a field that they have no expertise in like literally asking the joe biden the hunter biden question yeah. to her and she's like no uh um i mean uh i i have to go back and uh look at the plan on that one but i, I don't um yeah i actually i don't know actually i'm not sure on that thank you and then she like sprints away <laughs> Uh, where, like where that's at? exactly her. She like pauses and then she's uh, uh you know I have to uh the plan uh I gotta check my uh I gotta check what my puppet masters told me to say. Oh, all right, cool. You still running for president? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, we're, we're gonna have to cut it. We're gonna have to cut it off there. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> thank you everybody for coming out. Thank you, hey, thank you guys for watching. Um. I'm gonna force I'm gonna force Deets to put my channel link in the description.